There are two different ways to work with DVDs inside ProPresenter. The traditional way of creating clips and actually playing back from the physical DVD or the new way of actually ripping that DVD to video files. Now the reason there's this new way of ripping it to video files is because the traditional way isn't exactly the most reliable. In live production environments relying on a spinning disk inside your computer to play back a video clip for you hasn't proven to be the most reliable way of getting a video on the screen and so this new way helps you out. Now let's look at the traditional way of how to create video clips to play back from your drive in those last minute situations where you don't have time to rip your video clips. So I'm going to go up to DVD and in here you'll see a standard DVD player. Now this has all of the regular controls. We can click on these buttons just like any other DVD player or we can use these um, shuttle controls down here. So I'm going to click on training films because we're going to um, do a training night with new small group leaders and we want to teach them how to use this curriculum. So I'm going to click on the how to lead an IM second group. I'm going to get ready to set my endpoint. And this is the beginning of our clip that we want to use. And then I'm going to just go to the end and this is going to set the end of the clip that we want to use from the DVD. And I'm going to set that there. Now we can name this clip how to lead and we can hit save and it's going to add a clip over here to our clip library for this individual disk. Now you always have to have the disk in the drive for this to work. It's not actually saving anything except uh, references of this clip to your computer. So now we can take this clip and we can just command drag it right into a playlist and it's ready to utilize. Now not only are DVDs not reliable, but they also have some problems that you're only allowed to play back DVDs on one screen at a time, which means I can either see this or my audience can see it. We both can't see it at the exact same time. So when I go to click on how to lead, I'll click the play button and you'll see a DVD icon shows up here. Now if I toggle to go full screen, you'll see our clip actually playing here because it's actually playing through to our audience, but I'm not allowed to see this on my local screen. And that's just an issue of DVDs. I'm gonna clear this out and then I'm gonna go down to our Sunday playlist and let's actually add this to some message notes. So we have some message notes here. I'm gonna open up the DVD window. And again, I'm just gonna command drag this right into our message notes window. And now we can utilize that as part of a regular uh, set of message notes. So we can use this during our teaching. So that's how to create clips the traditional way. Now let's look at how to actually rip that clip to a video file. So first we're gonna to go to ProPresenter and down to Preferences. And under the DVD uh, section, you'll see a few different features here. And one of them is called Handbrake. And you need to install Handbrake CLI. And this allows ProPresenter to save DVD clips to your computer. Now you can install this. And please note that this is different than the regular GUI or the regular program you may already have installed. You need this in addition to that regular program. So I already have this installed, so I'm ready to go. So now I'm going to go back to DVD. And let's go to Training Films. And let's do um, the what is a, uh, an IM second group. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to set our endpoint. And we're just going to let it play for a second. I'm not going to do a very long clip here. And I'm going to set an out point. And now we can save this as what is. And we can hit uh, rip. And what this is going to do is it's going to start preparing the DVD. And it's actually going to save this clip to our hard drive as a video file. Now this comes with a lot of benefits. Now that it's saved to our hard drive as a individual file, again, we're not relying on the spinning disk inside the computer that could or could not work at times, as well as we can now play on multiple different screens. We can see it as a presenter, as well as our audience can see it on the screen. So the encoding is finishing up and now it's done. So you don't really see anything happen here, but what did happen is we'll close out the DVD player window. We're gonna to go to foregrounds and now there's a new clip in here called what is .mp4. And again, I can easily click and drag this into this message notes. I'll click and play it and you'll see that this is our what is an IM second group video clip and it will start playing back. Now if we go to ProPresenter 5 and to Preferences, we'll see a few things that will help this um, playback. If you're doing it the traditional way, make sure to check the Prevent DVD Spin Down because this will keep the disc spinning so that it will have the best chance of playing back properly for you. 
Now, the other thing is if we go to modules and we enable the multi-screen module, we're just gonna demo this for a second. Um, now under the multi-screen settings, you can see here there's a DVD option. Again, as I said before, since um, DVDs are only allowed to play back on one screen, you can't play it back on multiple screens at one time, so you have to choose which screen you want the DVD to play back at. But if you do it the non-traditional or the newer way, it's just a video or image, so you can play it back on all screens at one time, which is a lot better. So now you've seen the two different ways to play back DVDs inside ProPresenter. Again, sometimes we don't have time to rip DVDs, and so you're gonna have to do the traditional way, but when you can, make sure to try rip those files so you don't run into any problems.